Thank you very much, um, Ms. McDonough, and it's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. I'll try to be uh, a little bit briefer than I had planned because there's lots of members who made great contributions already, and I don't want to just reiterate what they've been saying. But I am very concerned about the petition today and the circle of destruction I think it would really cause for uh, the rural communities in my constituency, and both economic and environmental, and I'm afraid I really can't disagree more with the uh, petitioners, mainly because of the huge economic value that uh, grouse shooting has uh, to my constituency. But it's not just the shooting itself and the gamekeepers, it's the huge amount of part-time jobs that come <coughs> during the season, yeah, yeah. and particularly uh, for my uh, hospitality sector, it's that huge amount of trade that comes with that industry, a sector that's been absolutely hammered by COVID over the last couple of years uh, and you know where we're really trying to push domestic tourism particularly in places like uh, the North Pennines and County Durham at the moment you know to we're not quite as well known as my honourable friend down in the, uh, in the North Yorkshire Moors we should be um, but you know we, this is this is a real area of growth uh, for us and something that we really want to capitalize on and so I just think it's really important that we don't start to cut the legs off from under it just as we're recovering from COVID. I'd just like to make another point, really, which is that all, uh, all of our, uh, almost all of our landscapes are managed in the UK to a greater or lesser degree. And the danger of non-management is, as honourable members have said, is this huge increase that we've seen in wildfires. Uh, and that's the real danger which comes from mm. the release of uh, carbon into our atmosphere. Heather burning is an issue. When there's a wildfire which catches into deep peat, that really is an issue. And that's something that actually the proper management um, by gamekeepers and by um, uh, the, you know, uh, the communities in my upland areas you know, really, really help on. And one of the issues that I think is a, is a major concern is that there can also be over-management, as we've seen in the past. Um, the uh, Honourable Member for Bristol East commented on, well, maybe there's more productive things we could do with the uplands. Well, we tried that back in the 1950s when we put uh, grips in to the, um, to, the, to the peat moorland to try and drain them to get sheep grazing on there. And what we saw was an ecological catastrophe with, that, with millions of tonnes of peat over the succeeding decades being washed down the rivers and, and off the moors, one of the biggest carbon capture storages in the country. And I was lucky enough um, in uh, January uh, last year to have the uh, Secretary of State for DEFRA up in my constituency seeing some of those grips being filled in so that actually we're seeing that, uh, that peat uh, returning uh, as a massive natural carbon capture and storage uh, facility. Uh, I also visited with my honourable friend for Bishop Auckland, her constituency, to see some of the very well managed uh, uh, moorlands and um, seeing some of the lapwings and the oyster catchers there are on a recent visit and I think it shows a, a degree of uh, ignorance of the facts when it's quite clear that so many of these uh, of, of the communities and so many of the gamekeepers who are working the, on these estates actually you know, one of the secondary things that they're increasingly looking to do is to support birding and people doing bird watching and that sort of thing. This is a, actually a, a major driver locally for a lot of people coming to uh, the North Pennine moors as well. And I'd like to pick up on a, a, something that a couple of my honourable friends have mentioned as well, and that is of game itself. We need to uh, obviously make more positive moves. I think steel shots in, is part of that mm -hmm. in order to increase the reusable meat. But we also need to sell it properly as well. As, and I think that's something that very much that we as parliamentarians could definitely do, including here in Parliament. Um, from Muggleswick in my constituency to Weirhead, I really support those in my villages who work on the moors, uh, whether full-time or during the season. I support my local hospitality sector in North West Durham who really benefit from this. And I would ask the petitioners and those who support them uh, to really think again about the actual economic and also the environmental impact uh, what they're proposing would actually have on communities like those I represent in the north of England. Yeah.